Thanks for those, Martin. So I'll take you through the last couple of races here. Well done to Leon on the last winning the Queen Mother. So we got the year of the National Hunt Chase. It's the four mile 0 to 120. So 9th edition for Craig Allen. Interim mount for David Robertson. Chrysalis Future was James Shea. Sherry for John Morgan. Blue Penny for Martin Leadham. Thracian Lamp for Pontypool Racing. Opponents Advantage for Darren Thompson. Victory Heights for David Hooley. Inflation Stamp for Stu Gray. Shipboard Majestic for Ben Benici. Ring a Rumor Page for Alex Cherry. Jameer Cottage for Thomas Rogers. Blanche Niche for Alex Cherry. And Zinc for Kevin Meanham makes up 14. Alex will be looking to take himself to the top of the leaderboard. He's already won two today. Sits up there with Josh Leon on Craig. Well done. If you can make it a third, very impressive for the day. So we're well away here over this National Hunt chase. He gets the first of the 25. He jumps it. Oh, Jimmy Cottage was a, gave it plenty of air towards the rear. He's going to be led by Sherry. Plenty of people will be drinking come Christmas. Got over this. Oh, we've lost a couple here. No, it's just Thracian Lamp. An awful fall there. The horse looks like uh, he was doing uh, the Karma Sutra. Let's hope he's all right. So that's Grey Clutterbuck's horse out. Unlucky as they go over the third. A mistake by the Grey there. Zinc went straight through the top of it. There's not much change because uh, there's only probably about five lengths between first and last. So fairly slow here. We're just down the one. Sherry that still leads us from Zinc the Great, Chrysalis Future and Shipboard Majestic. A little bit wider of that is Opponent's Advantage. We've got uh, Black Silks of Inflation Stab, then Alex Cherry's Blanche Niege, mid pack. And wide is David Hooley's Victory Heights. Marty Wiggins Blue Penny up against the fence, running with 9th edition. Swing a rumor page, the second horse for Alex Cherry as they get to the fourth, the leaders are over it. No one else gets over it well. Just towards the rear is Jameer Cottage and Interim Mount. We've just lost a Thracian Lamp. We get to the fifth. More than the leader went straight through the top of that. More a couple of mistakes from a couple there. Victory Heights didn't take it well. I would ring a rumor page. A little change up front. And zinc for Kevin Meenahan. Also on the wi winner's board today as well. Well done for winning the Close Brothers. But I think we've had seven different winners so far. We'll be looking to see if someone can make it an eighth different trainer in the first 10, 12 or 12 races of the day. But it's Sherry and Zinc that lead us over the seventh. Take it well. And we're going to go on out again. Still three miles to go. Sherry and Zinc lead us uphill. Those of you that picked Alex Cherry in the uh, in the competition will be doing well. So it would have been a surprise. It would have been a oh, we've lost another one. Blue Penny's gone this time for Martin Leader. Hasn't had much luck in the races I've combed. He's had a fair few fallers. He'll be pulling his hair out. If he had any, he doesn't. But it's Sherry that leads us from Zinc. Inflation stamps in third on his own. Then you've got ninth edition, the top weight. Between as they go the ninth, and he's inside Chrysalis Future. Blue Silks, I think, of Shipboard Majestic. Now, so that is Darren Thompson's opponent's advantage, looking to get a second win of the day. And followed through by Blanche Niege and Interim Mount as they go over the water. Ring a rumor Page and Jameer Cottage out wide is Victory Heights. For the widest of all, probably running about five wide. So, still this John Morgan Horse Sherry. Lead us into the 11th, the open ditch takes it well, gets away from it better than uh, Zinc in second. He's got a couple of lengths of advantage over that, and there's about a further three or four back to opponent's advantage. An inflation stamp up against the fence, he gets the 12th from the uphill. And Jameer Cottage, it didn't step over that particularly well for James Shea towards the rear. And the Sherry, happily bowling along in front, leads by about four to Zinc, and then a further five back to advantages. Opponent's advantage, interim mine mount about four wide, Christmas future towards a fence along with inflation stamps to go over the ditch of the 13th. Again, ring a room page towards the rear, stepped over it. So they race downhill again. Another circuit to go, and Sherry that leads us from Zinc in second. Five back to opponent's advantage, interim mount was moved alongside. And we've got Christmas future inflation stamp. Shipboard Majestic, Victory Heights, Blanche Nijan, 9th edition. Just ring a 
the room at Page and Jameer Cottage. Twelve of them still standing. Let's go over the fourteenth. We'll take that well. Sheriff John Morgan not picked up a winner yet today. Very impressive with these long distance horses. It's a really good chance here. Sherry from Zinc. Trim Mount moves into third. Opponents advantage is fourth. Christmas Future is fifth. Victory Heights is sixth. Shipboard Majestic. Inflation Stamp and ninth edition follows them. Moving up Blanche Niege. Moving a room at Page and Jamea Cottage. So we'll go back off out again. It's Sherry that leads us. Still. So the 15th. Still got another 10 to take. We'll jump there by Inflation Stamp and through the top of it. The 16th. It's time to near Cottage. Another poor jump in the rear. So as we get a little bit strung out now, as Sherry leads us on, kept at a reasonable pace, about five away from Zinc, and just a further length or so to opponents of Barge and Interim Mount, and two back to Victory Heights, Shipboard Majestic, and Chrysalis Future together as they go for the 17th. We'll take that well. And you've got ninth edition, the top weight for Craig Allen. Inflation stamp. Launch Niche in the room at Page and Jameer Cottage. So we're only down two. We've got a mile and a quarter to run. Still this sherry. This leads down to just three when he went through the top of that. Lost his momentum. And they all sink to get within a couple of lengths. So sherry from Zinc. Opponents advantage and entry map. Couple back to Shipboard Majestic and Victory Heights. Christmas Future in ninth edition as they go to the 19th of Water for the third time take it. So we get down to the final mile. It's still the sherry. Been there since the beginning. Led for the past three. Has a little look round. It's in in seconds. They go over that one. Again, that a bit of air was opponent's advantage. Still advantage in the air. It's the sherry now as he leads him uphill. Top of the course. The 21st. So we're just four to jump now. It's still this Sherry. We've still got a mile to run. It's Sherry from Zinc in second. Interim Mount's moved up into third. Christmas Future and Opponent's Advantage. Pushing out on the outside now is Shipboard Majestic. Surge having a little bit of a surge mid-pack. Inside of that is Victory Heights. Craig Allen's ninth edition is just being hurried along a little bit as they go over the 22nd. And it's Sherry's going to be joined now by Interim Mount. So David Robertson's Interim Mount comes alongside. Starts to pull away now as we're inside the six furlongs. And it's Interim Mount that heads for home first from Sherry on his inside and they're about three or four away from the running on Victory Heights. Zinc is starting to go backwards Inflation Stamp still running on as well as Opponent's Advantage but Interim Mount's taking a three four length advantage here and still going. So it's Interim Mount by about five from Sherry who starts to go backwards. Victory Heights Opponent's Advantage Inflation Stamp Ninth Edition trying to run on Zinc but really he doesn't look like he's got left. They're all over the 23rd so we're just two to jump. It's Interim Mount from Inflation Ramp. Stamp moving into second. Sherry's coming back in third, ninth edition. Victory Heights still trying to run on by this leader, Interim Mount. He's got a six, seven length advantage as we come down to the final three. So Interim Mount for David Robertson. Looking to pick up his second win of the day. So it's Interim Mount by six from opponent's advantage and ninth edition running on. Sherry and Inflation Stamp a little bit one paced. Victory Heights hasn't got a lot left. So with a quarter mile to run, they're not going to catch this leader, are they? He's only got to get over the last two. Takes the 24th well from Interim Mount and opponent's advantage. Interim Mount still leads by six. Get over the last. Oh, he just stepped over it, but he's still got a six length advantage. Coming uphill now. I don't think opponent's advantage is going to be able to run him down. He's slowing up a little bit the leader here, but inside the final half he's going to be Interim Mount. It's going to be the second win of the day for David Rollman. It's going to take the year of the National Hunt Chase for opponent's advantage running on well in second. Third's going to be ninth edition. Fourth's going to be between Sherry and Christmas Future. I think Sherry's going to get up. Opponent's advantage almost made up the ground, but I think Interim mount for David Robertson. Had a little bit left. Well done. Takes the year of the National Hunt Chase. Convincingly, really. Tying up a little bit who's coming up the hill. I think opponent's advantage will look good for the National next week. Ninth edition up for third. John Morgan's long-time leader, Sherry, got up for fifth. Sorry, for fourth. And Chrysalis Future for James Shea was fifth. OK, let's move on to the last race of the day.